Emergencies can happen anytime and often without warning. When faced with an emergency, preparation can make all the difference. It's important that we all understand the steps we can take to ensure the safety of ourselves and those we love. Being prepared includes having a personal emergency plan, some emergency supplies, and knowing what to do when an emergency happens. In Burnaby, there is risk of a variety of hazards, including fires, overland flooding, earthquakes, extreme weather, and hazardous material spills. During certain emergencies, such as a large-scale fire or industrial accident, you may be directed to shelter in place. Shelter in place means staying inside and protecting yourself from the outside air. The purpose is to reduce the movement of air into and out of a building until the hazard passes. If directed to shelter in place, please do the following. Immediately gather everyone indoors at the closest safe building and stay there. Do not try to pick up family members from other locations until you're told it is safe to do so. Once safely inside, close and lock all windows and outside doors. Locking provides a tighter seal to doors and windows. Turn off any appliance that circulates air, such as bathroom and kitchen exhaust fans, microwave and convection ovens, built-in vacuum systems, clothes dryers, gas fireplaces, cooling fans. If you have a conventional wood-burning fireplace, close any dampers and vents. Wherever you are, select a safe room or area with as few windows, vents, and doors as possible. Grab your emergency supplies kit and take it with you. Monitor mainstream and social media for information updates and await further instructions. To block air circulation from outside, consider pre-cutting plastic sheeting and having it in your emergency kit. This can be used to seal windows, doors, and air vents. Each piece should be several inches larger than the space you want to cover so that it lies flat against the wall. Label each piece with the location where it fits. Use duct tape to secure the plastic sheeting to the walls and ceiling. An alternative to plastic sheeting is simply using duct tape around the door frame and windows to seal up any gaps or cracks. Do not leave your place of shelter until you receive notification from authorities that the shelter-in-place advisory has been lifted. Once that occurs, you can leave the interior room, open any doors and windows, turn on your ventilation system, open your fireplace dampers and vents, and restock and put away your emergency kit. It's important to know what it means to shelter in place and what to do when there is a shelter in place advisory. If you haven't already got one, make it a priority to create an emergency plan and assemble an emergency kit today. Once you have your plan and a kit, you'll have peace of mind knowing you're protecting the safety of yourself and those you love. Make sure your emergency kit has 72 hours of supplies. For more details on shelter in place and planning for emergencies, please visit burnaby.ca slash get prepared.